Come on, Frederick. Want to go potty? Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what up, guys? And welcome back to another one. Old Frederick, how you doing today, sport? Huh? You about ready to go hunting? Say, yeah. We're ready to go get them ducks and them geese, Dad. Today, we got a little throwback goose hunt for y'all. You guys will like this one. It's a small hunt on some big water. We went over to my buddy Ross's sand pit. Y'all know who Ross is. All of you subscribers that have been here for a while, you know who Ross is. We hunt together a ton. We went out to his private sand pit because that was the only big water that wasn't froze up at that time. And let me tell you, there were specks and lessers everywhere. This hunt in particular, the specks were close. So we had to be extremely choosy with the shots that we took. You'll see it, it's funny. There were some jokes in the blind, a couple funny moments. Did not shoot very many birds on this hunt. I think we actually shot one, but the footage is really good. Actually, all the footage of the big camera, I lost and I don't have. So this is all GoPro footage from my head mount. Three of us, Wade, Ross, and me, were all in the A-frame up against some big water. It was extremely cold. The type of hunts that we all like and love, right? Open water, lots of ice, big water, lots of geese, lots of birds. You get the point. But before we get into today's video, check it out, the old decoy trailer. Oh my goodness, I'm missing it. Look at it. It's a complete disaster. Just everything thrown, literally everywhere. I got the e-collar in here. I got all the pigeon decoys in here. I got clay pigeons in here, throwers, lay down blinds, A-frames, yep. I'm missing being in here, I tell you right now. You guys know that's been here for a while, how much time I spend in this trailer. We got this trailer brand new last year, and uh, I love it. It's my baby, it's my pride and joy. Still gotta put LEDs on the outside, still gotta put new lights on the interior, have to hang a lot of new racks and pegs and still got a bunch to do and those videos will actually be coming once the season gets closer. But like this little hunt right here, I forgot I even had it. And I stumbled across it the other day and I'm like, you know what? It's not a lot of killing, there's not a lot of shooting. But just seeing some geese decoy, me putting out a goose hunt right now, I miss it. I hope y'all will like this video because I have one more that I haven't edited and put up for you guys. So if you guys like this video, during the video at any point, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment down there and say, Bobby, I want to see more of these. If you guys like them enough on the off season, I might grab some old videos, re-edit them up a little bit, make them juicy and throw them up for you all because I know that I got the duck hunting depression badly. But before we get into it, I better tell you a little bit about the spread. We sat up a ton of sleeper shells and full bodies right against the water. That's how the birds were wanting to sit that day, that entire week actually, was right on the sandy beach, laying down. Right when they hit that sandy beach, right when they landed on it, they laid down because it was so cold. So that's how we set the spread. You'll see it in the video. But I'm done rambling, let's get into it. Oh, we can shoot those. Wanna try them? Yeah, they're gonna swing over the top, hopefully. Come on, none of these birds want to get lower than this. This is what we've been watching right here. They stay at this distance and uh, golly, look at this single coming in front of us here. Speck, cuts guys. Oh, here we go boys, here we go. Come on, come on. These two are going to pull them in. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're going to go too far. No, you can't shoot that way. It's all right. They'll come back. They might come back. Yeah, it's all right. They would have did that right in front of us. <laughs> they, they're going to steer back. They're, they'll come back. So these birds were way too far this way. We're trying to get them to land here. I'm talking to this camera, dick. Trying to get them more in front of us here. I know we're being choosy, but these birds want to be here bad. <laughs> Look, here come the two. They'll pull them. They'll pull them. They'll pull the flock this way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love being able to be greedy. <laughs> we <could've shot> <laughs> yeah, we could have shot him three times by now. Probably gonna lose him now. 
Uh oh, here we go. We got a little group that just. They've been checking us out. This should be a good pass if they roll on back our way, right? Chia. <laughs> Come on, you. Here we go. Shh. Oh, we got three in front of us, boys. Come on. Still haven't shot anything. Get in here, would you? Nope. Yep, we got some birds interested here. That's a lot of them. Oh, man. Hmm. I don't know if they're going to give it up, boys. Huh. Oh, goodness gracious. That's a lot of birds. Oh boy. Oh no, they're right. Oh god, these are low. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Oh, that's beautiful, dude. That's so sweet. That is so cool. They do that again this time. We're taking oh, yeah. right above us. Yeah, oh, Look at these three. three. They're all doing it now. Oh, here we go, boys. Got them in the decoys. One, two, three, four in the decoys. <laughs> Don't let these on the ground leave. We got three in the decoys. Oh boy. No bands on them? Who cares? You could wreck those two. Yeah, with two shot. with one shot right there. For the footy bob. Yeah, I right, know. Yeah, I could definitely wreck those two birds with one shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, you darn pigeons. Look at that. I just changed their water bowl out. Look how nasty it is already. One of y'all suggested that I build a little in-ground pond, you know, down there on the ground for them. Just so they can bathe and stuff, because that's what I'm getting to notice is that's a little bitty water bowl for nine birds. And they do, they get in there and they bathe and they wash themselves off and that's why it gets so darn dirty. I think I'm going to have to go to a bigger bowl or we're just going to end up making a little pond in there. Put them some new water in there, get that new H2O. Oh. But I hope you guys liked that little video. Yes, it wasn't much. I know, I know. But for the off season, it isn't bad, right? If you guys like that video you got to let me know down in the comments because I do have some other footage like I said in the beginning of this video that we can churn up and throw up if you guys want to see more waterfowl hunting at this time of year this time of year for the channel it's slow and it's hard for me to come up with content that's why we got the pigeons going the pigeon trapping the pigeon lofts the pigeon hunting the magnet fishing I like to do a little bit of all of it right but y'all know waterfowl hunting goose hunting duck hunting in particular is my pudding that's my gravy that's my go-to that's what i love to do and with the off season dragging along and it being humid and 100 degrees in july man it makes me miss those cold mornings but if you guys have any 
any ideas whatsoever for videos that you guys want me to do during the off season like this whether they're how-to videos maybe some trailer update videos maybe we can throw some lights on the trailer i'm getting that new duck boat here really really soon but until then what do you guys want to see you got to let me know but speaking of the old trailer, I'm really thinking about getting a big ducks wrap on this bad boy. What do you guys think? Maybe have big DUX, maybe some cupped mallards on this side, maybe some snow geese on the back with the black area. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty sweet. What do you all think? I, I mean, as if it isn't noticeable enough already i mean it's pretty recognizable and that was my thing uh for not doing stickers on it. i'm like you know i just don't want people to uh, know it's me all the time whether i'm at a field or going down the road but it's already recognizable i might as well put a wrap on the thing and if you guys want some trailer videos we can do some building in here we got to put the led lights on and everything still so there's a lot of waterfowl hunting prep videos to come y'all we got to go manage the leases we got new duck leases that i haven't even told y'all about so there's plenty on the way for this waterfowl season to come but i hope you guys are ready for the duck hunting just as much as i am and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i salvaged it out of the old out of the old trash can pretty much on the hard drive so if you guys want to see more of these let me know Thank y'all for being here. You need to subscribe. We're coming at you with daily uploads, y'all. I know, right? It's a lot of work. Yeah, I know. Turn on that little notification bell down there wherever it is. Because all my first commenters out there, I see you. And I appreciate y'all. But we will see you on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism. Pass